so here I am. Uh, we're gonna start the second tutorial now, and this tutorial will be uh, to find unknown values. Um, and let's do it. All right, so I'm just gonna touch uh, to the game again. I have to restart the game for every tutorial because I need to stop and start recording. Um, and that's pretty much how it works. So as you can see, as I mentioned in the first example, uh, so let's click Start Adventure, Start a New Game. As I mentioned in the first example, when you uh, close the game and restart it, oh, this is a very odd situation. It's actually still a thousand. Let's have a look at this actually. I'm gonna spend that. Uh, see, yeah. So it is a thousand as you see here, but um, it's not the same. It's not the same thing anymore. It has read from memory, but as you can see, we've frozen it and it's coming down, which means it's now a different address. So, which is why we'll later on find the static address, which is the one that never changes. Um, so, anyways, so what we're going to do in this tutorial, we're going to find an unknown value. Uh, so, you don't always have numbers like this, that's the problem. You don't always have numbers like this in the game. Sometimes you have things like, as you can see here, there's a cooldown timer, as you as you can see it's going up and that's what we'll be using for this one so this includes things like mana in games uh, if you're playing like something like Diablo um, also if you play Modern Warfare if you guys know uh, for example when you get shot your health goes red but you have absolutely no clue what your health is uh, it goes red and you st it slowly starts your screen starts becoming more clear and um, and this is the same method you'll be using uh, if you wanted to find the health on that so what I'll be doing first thing is um, I'll be calling. Um, so as you can see, I'm going to call a plant here, and I'm going to say stop the game. So as you can see, um, the value is stuck at the bottom. So I'm going to say um, new scan. We're going to do a new scan, and we're going to search for an unknown initial value. So we don't know what the value is. We're going to search for an unknown one, and there we go. We got 268 million results, and what we do is go back into the game, let it go up a little bit, and then we say increased value. So, if some of you guys prefer to use hotkeys for this, for this is better. Go on file. Um, you got the settings option where you can uh, use hotkeys instead of having to keep jumping back from the game to this. So I'm going to choose increased value because it's gone up a tiny bit. And let's see it filtering. Um, now, something I like to do here is I like to say unchanged value for quite a while because the value hasn't changed. That filters quite a few of them. So as you can see, we almost removed a million so that room was just a bunch of crap so let's go back into game let it go up a little bit more and search for increased value again and here we are so let's go again and search again so it's gone up again a bit there you go hundred thousand I'm just gonna start putting some people here just because um, and it's gone up a little bit more. I'm just putting a couple of guys around so I don't get killed uh, but don't worry about those just focus on the sunflower for now uh, and as it goes up, let's search again for increased value, 3,000. And once again up, and then we get to the top. So we then call another one, and we back down. So we then look for decreased value. And this is the same method you'll be using uh, if you wanted to find the health on that. So what I'll be doing first thing is um, I'll be calling... Um, so as you can see, I'm going to call a plant here, and I'm going to say stop the game. So as you can see, um, the value is stuck at the bottom, so I'm going to say... Um, new scan, we're going to do a new scan and we're going to search for an unknown initial value, so we don't know what the value is we're going to search for an unknown one and there we go, we got 268 million results and what we do is go back into the game, let it go up a little bit and then we say increased value so if some of you guys prefer to use hotkeys for this for this is better, go on file um, you got the settings option where you can uh, use hotkeys instead of having to keep jumping back from the game to this. So I'm going to choose increase value because it's gone up a tiny bit. And let's see it filtering. Um, now, something I like to do here is I like to say unchanged value for quite a while because the value hasn't changed. That filters quite a few of them. So as you can see, we almost removed a million. So that room was just a bunch of crap. So let's go back into game, let it go up a little bit more and search for increase value again. And here we are. So let's go again and search again. So it's gone up again a bit. There you go, 100,000. I'm just going to start putting some people here just because. Um, and it's gone up a little bit. I'm just putting a couple of guys around so I don't get killed. Uh, but don't worry about those. Just focus on the sunflower for now. Uh, and as it goes up, let's search again for increased value 3,000. And once again up. And then we get to the top. So we then call another one. And we back down, so we then look for decreased value. Okay, so there's our decreased value. Okay, 
and then we want to set it up for increased value again. So go back into the game. It's increased a little bit. Let's search again. We're down to 59 results. We're nearly there. Increased again. 24 results. I definitely haven't got much to go. And next scan. And obviously, as you do this more and more, you'll get more experience over it. So by having a first look at this, some of you more experienced guys will know straight away that this is most likely the number that we're looking for, the cooldown timer. So as you can see, go again. Uh, mainly because it's a more feasible number. It would be either this one or this one in my opinion, but I definitely recommend it would be this one. Uh, especially because I've done this before and I know it is this one. I think so anyway, I haven't done this in a little while. Anyways, so what we're going to do just to confirm, we're going to double click that, add that to the list and let's freeze it and just see what it... As you can see, the value is now frozen, the cooldown is not going to increase. So what do we do to uh, give ourselves an instant cooldown time? Um, so that we don't have to wait every time to spawn. So let's say it's fair enough to assume that once it reaches a certain number, like um, 800, then the plan will be fully cooled down. And there you go, so that's that. And then we call it and we're given ourselves. So let's say now it started from zero. So let's freeze this at 800 and oops, 800, and hopefully we'll have an instant respawn. So there we go, 800. As you can see, you can see that. So we have an instant thingy. So this is what you do normally in a game like Modern Warfare. Your character's been injured. Obviously you can't do this online. But um, some games you'll be able to do certain things like this online. Your character's been injured. Um, his health's down. You freeze that health up there. At, um, I think the default health on Modern Warfare is something like 16,000. So you freeze at 16,000. You don't die. You become invest invincible. Fuck. Okay, I know that took a while to say that. Yeah, so you become invincible. Um, and th this is how a lot of people make a god mode hack for their trainers and so on. You can do this in Black Ops, Zombies, and so on. I was doing this the other day as well, myself. So, and that's pretty much it. Um, and you can do this for any of these cooldowns if you're interested in doing it for Plants vs. Zombies. It's up to you. So now that is pretty much it for our um, unknown value uh, tutorial. I uh, hope you now realize how to do, just have a think about where you can implement this because there's a lot of things you can do with this and that includes rapid fire, anything like that, all you do is you freeze a number at a high ass value or a very low value and then you give yourself an instant thing so as you can see I can make an army of sunflowers that do absolutely nothing as you can see that, no respawn whatsoever and that's the beauty of it and that's it pretty much. Uh, let's now get on with the um, our next tutorial will be the finding multi-level pointers manually. I uh, hope you enjoy that one. So that one especially for those of you that aren't really that comfortable with pointers. Uh, and after that we'll do another pointers one. And we'll move on to more um, more difficult stuff after that. Okay, thanks for watching and hope you stick around.